Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to Tuesday edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Herz. And today in studio, I have Sam from Hoslo. Welcome. Hello. Great to be here. So we met uh, at the City Park Farmer's Market, which this show is like all about that farmer's market. You guys are supporting us really well. So yeah, and, and you guys are so great to each other there. I don't know if you feel the love there, but... It's uh, just had another collaboration this past week with one of the fellow vendors, so it's definitely a, a tight uh, So we had Margo on, who owns the market? Yes, owns yeah. Directs, is kind of uh, just a... And if you haven't been in the market, it's Saturdays from 8 Saturdays, to 1? Saturdays, 8 to 1 p.m. Tell um, where. I am uh, City Park, uh, the Esplanade, right outside of the East High School. And I'm there every other Saturday, but okay. there's amazing vendors there every single week. Give us a little history of you and Oslo. Yeah, so I, I'm Sam, as, as Larry said. Um, I am the founder and CEO of Oslo, which is the first ever cocktail mixer designed exclusively to uh, to be drank with tequila. And so I, myself, am from the Chicagoland area, but I moved out here a couple months ago to launch the brand and uh, a tequila lover. We poured some so we can try it a little bit later, um, but really excited to be here. So tell people what the product is, like what's the concept? Yeah, so it is, um, I, like I said, I started drinking a lot of tequila. My favorite drink was a tequila soda uh, because I'm not a huge margarita guy. It's a little right. bit too sugary and sweet for me. And I was kind of like stumped by the fact that there's nothing else on the market that does, you know, that has some sort of tequila compatibility but is not margarita flavored or super sugary. So started ideating on that and, and what could potentially be there, and I actually met this uh, – Amazing mixologist in Chicago. Her name's Eden. Um, incredible, Eden, if you're watching this. Thank you. Uh, but she is the head mixologist at this uh, cocktail bar called The Violet Hour. Told her about my idea. She loved it. And I kind of tasked her to like, make the perfect compliment to tequila. And she came back with this. And it is a essentially like a lime and mint flavored herbal tea. So it is going to be really light, really refreshing, but has ingredients like ginseng, magnesium, Ginkgo, um, a lot of different functional ingredients that'll actually help your body kind of like process alcohol a little bit better. Uh, so you can feel better about drinking, but also- So it's a delicious. healthy way to drink. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So um, when did you first bottle the first one? So I've, this, this idea has been in, in work for about um, three years, and then I hooked up with Eden about a year and a half into that. And I started making batches myself uh, pre-pandemic, was planning to launch in Chicago uh, last April. As with most things, uh, plans kind of fell apart and, and decided to go back to the drawing board and um, moved out here in February to kind of get the groundwork done to, to launch the brand. And first launched May 19th, uh, that was three days before my first market so at Chicago. Park. just a few months ago. It's, uh, we're under three months in business. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what exactly is in this bottle? So it is a ready-to-drink uh, tea. So what, what we're going to be pouring out here is what I sample. If you're coming by the booth on, on Saturdays, it's what I give out to everybody. Um, but it is just a really light and delicious. I say like delicious, more refreshing alternative to margarita mixes. Um, so you, so you could drink this straight? Drink it straight. On the rocks? It, on the rocks. we got some of the finest yeah. Blanco tequila money can buy right there okay. uh, that we'll be able to try it. But yeah, so that's, that's it by itself. Um, and then, so we have this much tequila in here right now. Yeah. How much of this would you add? I would, you know, so my recommended dosage is like a two to one ratio. So that looks like about a third of the glass. We'll probably just fill it up the rest of the way there, just so we can do it. Tequila, tequila and Oslo on ice. Could you mix it with other? I could see it with vodka. Why yeah. Um, so I just love tequila, and I <laughs> wanted it to be a tequila brand. Uh, my mom is a vodka drinker. She drinks it with vodka. Brother-in-law, huge bourbon guy, he drinks it with bourbon. It's kind of lime and mint, goes with everything, but um, I had to pick one lane. I've decided to go with tequila. Are there going to be more flavors coming? There are. I've actually, uh, that's uh, one of the first, one of the most common questions at the market. Um, the next one we're working on is going to be a spicy flavor. Makes sense. Um, so a little like jalapeno infused and give it a, you know, a little bit more kick. I, beyond that, we haven't really gotten into the full product mo roadmap. Uh, Probably gonna work on some merch. These T-shirts are gonna be available pretty soon to purchase, and a few other things. But um, as far as the flavors go, this and spicy is gonna be what we come out with. And packaging is interesting. What made you choose this? You know, and and the size of it. Yeah. So it was a couple different factors. So the first one is that it's eight ounces, and so if you're doing a two to one ratio, a two ounce pour of tequila, that's half a bottle. 
really easy to just hand measure out as you're at home making sure. cocktails, trying to simplify it. Um, it's also, I think, a little bit unique in the mixer market. Uh, most mixer bottles yes. are just massive That's margarita bottles, wondering. and you know, usually big plastic ones, and just kind of. I, I think it that screams a little bit of just artificial ingredients in there. Um, okay. And so this is a little bit closer to like a kombucha bottle. So um, there's no artificial like, ingredients in here? No artificial ingredients, okay. all natural, 95% sure. um, organic. We, we don't have or USDA organic certification necessarily yet, um, but really high quality ingredients, really, really tasty. And I just looked, only 10 calories. 10 calories, three grams of sugar per serving. Yeah, so we're really trying to make you feel good about the drinking we're about to spend <laughs> on you. All right, I'm gonna try it first on its own. Yeah. Be brutally honest. Yeah, no, no, I would absolutely drink this. I don't know why it needs to be mixed with tequila. <laughs> uh, that is... Uh, but now I'm, mixing, I'm with the tequila. Yeah, so the most common feedback we get is that it just tastes really delicious on its own. Um, so I, I definitely don't stop people from doing that. You know, if you want to drink it on its own, go for it. But it was designed with, uh, you know, making it just really easy drinking with uh, Blanco tequila. So I do drink a lot of margaritas, and I'm always like... Feel like I ha that's my only option. I yeah. totally understand. Yeah, uh, I do like tequila, and when I drink margaritas, I feel like how many can I have really? It's, it's so much sugar. Well, and I think you know just to go back to why I chose the tequila route. I think there's this like assumption about tequila that it causes hangovers and it's really bad for you. And yeah, that's it's, it's the sugar in the margarita. Typically, right? because you're either drinking really bad tequila or you're drinking super sugary drinks with it, and. Um, I kind of saw this as an opportunity to bring tequila to, to the to the you know the forefront as it's not the tequila's fault. We can have a light, delicious, refreshing drink with it, and you actually feel better the next day as, you know, if you drink anything else. So you can drink healthily. Yeah. Cheers. Um, if I had some, I would cheers you. Yeah, yeah. I'll pour. I'll enjoy a little bit of myself. All right. Yeah. So tell them again where to find you. So I am on like website, social media, Drink Oslo, and then it's drinkoslo.com. Um, Oslo is spelled H-A-Z-L-O, as you can see on the bottle. Yeah, I thought it was Oslo. Yeah, that's it. Oslo, just you know, quick little history. It is Please. a Spanish word that means do it. Um, so as you're feeling good about your drinking, the idea is you can wake up the next morning and get all the things done that you need to do. So have fun at night, work hard, play hard, that whole, that whole vibe. I do work hard, play um, hard. How yeah. much are you charging for a bottle? So at the, uh, right now we sell a three pack is the most common way we're selling it, and that's $21 for the three pack. And then a uh, single bottle will sell for eight. That's only at the market. It's kind of difficult to do the e-commerce for a single bottle right now. Um, but in the next uh, couple days, maybe a week, I'm actually going to be turning on national distribution. So if we have any viewers that are outside of the Denver metro area right now, Colorado only, but uh, we'll be moving to national pretty soon. Meaning shipping? Shipping, yeah. I'm one-man operation in my basement packing boxes <laughs> and uh, going dropping it off at the USPS. Do store. you make it in your basement too? Uh, no, that <laughs> would uh, the insurance companies would not like me for that. I have a, I have a commissary kitchen uh, that is like right by 25 that uh, I was actually at last night and making big batches of tea, hand bottling it, hand applying the labels, uh, bringing it myself over to the farmer's market and coming here to see you with it. So, awesome. Yeah. Pleasure Cheers. to meet you. Cheers, Sam. You too, Larry. Check Thanks, out his guys. product. We'll see you today at 11.30 for What's for Lunch. We have Boa Thai. Let's drink. That's how you start the day. Yeah.